wants to jump. Yeah, Sadie. Whoa. All right, that one's gotta be fixed. We're having a meeting. I don't know what they're discussing, but it's very important. You girls are gonna be having such a blast. What do you think, Pink? Do it, son, you can. Honey. Oh, queen of the new kingdom, Sunny. Whoa, son. Success. Goat playground success. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin. Welcome back to Fable Hill Farm. I am here in West Michigan, zone 5B and we are prepping our little 10.2 acre homestead for winter here my it's husband is off for um a week or so and we're just making the most of having him home and getting farm projects done father-in-law is going to be coming over today with the big white his tractor that's its name the big white and he's going to be cleaning out the hay shed here this is just you know old bales that have broke and the ducks tore some apart and you know, some hay that I had out feeding the bucks and then it got wet. So now it's trash because you don't want to feed wet hay to goats. So this stuff's all going to get pulled out and it's going to go into uh, our compost pile. And we have a sand pile here, which, you know, weeds grow over it. But this comes from the family sand pit. My father-in-law is also bringing over a bucket load of sand today with the tractor on his way over to put in the dough barn. This is some topsoil. You know, again, you just pull that stuff off. And then these are our newest to oldest compost piles here. And they haven't been turned in a long time. They're really very neglected, um, but it's fine. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin. Welcome back to Fable Hill Farm. Today we are doing a lot of uh, chores that need to be done prior to winter here in West Michigan. And we're just tackling some things now that my husband is off work for the day. Also, while my husband is home, I want to try and figure out how to winterize this duck house. I've changed the straw. Actually, I've been adding to the straw mostly, but I've cleaned some things up. I mean, they just tear it all out, which is kind of silly. So I want to actually block the bottom with a chicken wire or poultry wire to keep things in and then do some deep bedding methods more effectively in here. Hi, stinky boys. Hi. I don't want to stink. No, thanks. Hi, boys. You stink. Uh, there's my cat food scoop. Trent is also going to be finishing this water bucket foam experiment so that the box can have water that doesn't freeze when it's super cold out. And here's what I'm working on in the goat barn, which is just, again, doing a little cleaning. You can see the sand is pretty wet here, which is not ideal, but... You know, we're learning, we're experimenting. We didn't have a ton of sand to put down and I wanted to see how it would work. So obviously this is an area they're going a lot. And uh, we're just gonna put more sand down. We'll put more pine shavings. Last time I didn't really have hardly any. I only did pine shavings here on this half. And then this half, I didn't put any pine shavings down. Again, as an experiment. And so I have a lot more pine shavings I'm gonna put down today and um, Go ahead and put down more sand and then we'll do the barn lime as well. We'll put that on the dirt first and DE, diatomaceous earth. Then we'll put the pine shavings, then the straw. And I think that will be a much more effective way to do a deep bedding method over the winter. But you live and you learn. And I did expect this to happen. You can see on this side where I put a lot more pine down, uh, it's a lot more dry. I think you guys can see that dry. This is all dry where I had, you know, pine shavings. And then this is much more wet. So it makes sense. The pine is meant to be very absorbent and this I didn't have any. So, you know, I guess my hypothesis was correct. <laughs>
husband and I just have to laugh and shake our heads because he just tore up the yard so bad. I didn't know that's what he was planning on doing, uh, but he did and it's okay. It's just fire, hay shed, it's not a big deal. And got the old hay and the old straw out of the hay shed, which was the goal. <laughs> the goal. Uh, but now we have this beautiful site. You live and you learn. But he's a talented man. He's a really hard working man. And uh, he does so much for us. So we love and appreciate you, Terry. But seriously, look what you just did to this yard. <laughs> So I've gone ahead and added barn lime and diatomaceous earth to the floor in the barn in the section that I just cleared away. Now I'm going to go ahead and put more of the sand over top of it. See how far this gets me. I do want a bit thicker layer of sand. My father-in-law said he could bring over some more tractor loads of sand another day if I need it. So I'm just going to see where this gets me. This is one bucket load from the tractor. Got the DE. I've got the barn line down. So it's time to do the sand, then the pine shavings, and then the straw to complete our deep bedding method. Take two. You want to make sure when you're handling both barn lime and diatomaceous earth that you uh, have your, you know, a mask of some type on. I just had this neck warmer on and safety glasses also. Right, I've got a bunch more sand on this side of the barn, started on this side, still got a little bit outside, but I'm going to go ahead and get the pine shavings out and on the ground. Right, got down a nice thick layer of pine shavings in my high traffic area that I'm working on in the goat barn. I'm going to put down straw. I'm going to put this fence back out here so they can get back into the barn and I'm going to call it good for the night. Looking a little rough, but that's farm life for you. I'm trying to hurry up here and just finish off for the day because my husband wants to uh, go hunting. So he gave me a 45 minute window in which to get this done so he could hopefully get out to his stand in time. I'm gonna try to make that happen, honey. No promises, but I'm trying. And I gave the girls more hay, so they're happy. If you don't know, goats will eat and eat and eat and eat, and eat because that's what goats do. Hey, go, son. Kitty. Gross. Heidi. Cat emerges from the hole. Well, guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so if you're interested in more homesteading, farm, registered Nigerian dwarf, holistic livestock care, gardening, seed starting, all that stuff. It's coming up. Muscovy ducks. Don't forget about that. Love our Muscovies. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to learn more about. If you have questions, I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you again for helping me to reach over 100 subscribers. It might seem like a small number right now, but it's growth. It's 100 people that didn't uh, subscribe to my channel at the beginning, and so I appreciate all of you. I will see you guys around. What do you think? Barn's clean, girls. Yeah, that's pretty nice, huh? Looking sharp, sister. You know, I actually forgot the most important thing, really, of all. Turn the electric fence back on. My milk room is a mess. My barn's a mess. But that's okay. Hubby's off for the week, so we can get her done tomorrow and this week in general. So, all right. Fence is a hot. Lock up. 
Also very important, lock the feed room because do not under any circumstances want the goats getting in there. I also thought it'd be nice and turn everything off in here for Trent so he can just go hunting and not have to worry about it. So,